Fora TV. The world is thinking. And it is really, I think, very encouraging to realize that agriculture, as Sarah just said, uh, offers us a really powerful tool for dealing with uh, what is now an imperative. Because we are so deep into the climate crisis and because the, the uh, momentum of the Earth's climate system is so advanced, at this point, it's all very well to talk about reducing our emissions. That's important and must be done. It must be a big part of Copenhagen. But uh, we have to go beyond that. We have got to find a way to be pulling the existing carbon out of the atmosphere. Not just let's add less of it as we go along. That will not do the job. We have to find a way to pull the existing carbon out. And what you hear in most of the media, to the extent that it's talked about, is a phrase that you may know, geoengineering. Hmm. And what they're talking about there is things like uh, putting up giant reflector mirrors between here and the sun, uh, pouring iron filings into the ocean, uh, perhaps uh, putting up uh, sulfites into the atmosphere in the same way that Mount Pinatuba did in the early 90s because that does have an effect of, of temporarily cooling the atmosphere. Um, those ideas are uh, controversial and uh, perhaps deserve investigation, but they are very expensive and very, very dangerous. They could very well make things worse. Compare that to what Sarah mentioned, photosynthesis and uh, which, which does that naturally, and finding ways to use that, uh, that natural process here on the Earth uh, is, is a real, uh, one of my sources, the, the top climate advisor to the government of Germany just said this this weekend, this is, this is one of the last jokers up our sleeve. And the, uh, uh, the capacity for agriculture to do this is really astonishing between the soil itself and the plants and vegetation that grow on the soil, uh, we have the capacity to uh, basically sequester virtually all of the annual emissions that go up every year from this planet. Think about that. If we change our agricultural system, we can actually start to turn the clock back on how much carbon is up there. And that is vitally important now. And, as I will try and say in my remaining time, it also happens to be something that is uh, very valuable for the poor farmers and, and poor people throughout the third world uh, in the rural areas uh, who are bearing the brunt of this. It is one of the happy coincidences that at a time when mitigation and adaptation have got to work hand in hand, that the agricultural field really is a place where this can happen. And uh, so if you take anything out of tonight, take this, that agriculture not only matters as much as energy, but that the solutions to climate change in the field of agriculture are much more available, much quicker, and much cheaper than what we're trying to do with energy. That's not to say we don't do energy as well, but agriculture is a real uh, missed opportunity so far. And